Hey everybody, Joshua Lamford here and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you the equipment that I use to record all of my music and I'm going to show you how you can start your own home studio and record guitar and keyboard in the comfort of your own home on a shoestring budget. Let's get started. Now, if you wanted to record back in the olden days, you would need some pretty expensive equipment. So, like if you were going to record guitar, you would need some really expensive amplifiers, you would need some really expensive guitar pedals, you would need some really high quality, really nice sounding microphones to mic up your amplifier, and you would need to plug those mics into a mic preamp that sounded really nice. And, of course, the mic preamp would feed into your doll. So, it could get pretty expensive to record guitar back in the olden days. If you wanted to record keyboard back in those days, then you would need some really nice sounding keyboards because you're going to use the sounds direct, that are directly on your keyboards. So, you might need an acoustic piano. You might need some really nice sounding digital pianos. You might need some really nice sounding synthesizers that had a whole bunch of knobs and a whole bunch of settings that you could get from it. And you would need to figure out how to mic up your keyboards and pianos with high quality mics to get a real high quality recording. So needless to say, if you wanted to record back in the olden days, you could easily spend thousands and thousands of dollars and end up totally breaking the bank. Now thankfully, in our digital age, there's a much cheaper option that you can use to record guitar or keyboard in the comfort of your own home for a much, much cheaper price. You only need a few pieces of equipment and this equipment all together will cost you less than $200. So let's start with the keyboard. So all you'll need to record keyboard is one of these MIDI cables, and you can get these very inexpensively. I think they're only about $20 or $30, and I'm going to put a link in the description below to each piece of equipment that I recommend so that you can check it out for yourself. So the only thing that you need to record keyboard at home is a MIDI cable. This is a cable that on one end it plugs into your keyboard, and then on the other end, it has a USB cable that will plug directly into your computer. So you probably will notice the sound on this keyboard. This is kind of a cheap keyboard, so the sound on it isn't extremely high quality. You know, it, it sounds kind of like a cheap keyboard. But when you plug it into your computer, you can get some very high quality keyboard and piano sounds using your doll. You can get some really high quality keyboard and synthesizer sounds using a cheap keyboard if you're using the sounds on your doll. All you need to do is plug your keyboard in with a MIDI cable and it sounds awesome. So all that you'll need to record guitar is you'll need an audio interface. Basically what an audio interface does is it takes the analog signal coming from your guitar 
and converts it to a digital signal that will feed directly into your computer. And I use an iRig HD2 interface. It's about $100, but I'm sure it sounds a lot better than some of the cheaper iRig interfaces. And, but there are a lot of really high quality audio interfaces on the market. Now, you may have a really cheapy guitar amp at home that just doesn't sound very good, but the good news is you don't need to use that for recording. You can plug your guitar into an audio interface and then plug that interface into your computer and you can get some really high quality amplifier and pedal sounds uh, that are on your DAW or you can use a program like Amplitude or Bias FX and get some really high quality guitar and pedal sounds using that. By the way, I love plugging my guitar into my phone and using Amplitude. You can get some really high quality amplifier sounds uh, mic'd up with some really nice sounding mics and some really great guitar pedals using this program. And I want to demo it in a future video, so if you want to see me demo Amplitude and with my guitar, it sounds really awesome, be sure to subscribe. And if you subscribe, I'm going to show you how awesome Amplitude is. Now, I'll also say you can record into your computer or you can record into your iPhone or iPad. If you're going to record into your phone, you'll need one of these adapters. It's a USB to lightning adapter. And that, will, that way you'll be able to plug a USB cable into your phone using this adapter. Now another piece of equipment that you'll need, and this is true whether you're recording guitar or keyboard, you'll need a pair of high quality studio headphones. And basically the studio headphones help you to hear your mix and hear the guitar and keyboard sounds that you're recording. And it makes them sound really good so that you can get the sounds exactly the way that you want them. And the last piece of equipment that you'll need is you'll need a doll on your computer or phone. And basically, a DAW is a computer program that you can record your guitar or keyboard directly into, and you can get some really high quality guitar and keyboard sounds using your DAW. Now, you may be on a shoestring budget, like I said earlier, and you may not be able to pay for a really expensive high quality DAW, but you can always use GarageBand and you can still get some pretty awesome sounds from GarageBand. So altogether, this equipment will only cost you about less than 200 bucks to record guitar and keyboard and plug your guitar and keyboard directly into your doll and get some pretty awesome sounds. So if you're hoping to start your home studio and you're not sure where to start, I hope you really found this video helpful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and keep listening to the music that I recorded on this channel using the same equipment that I just showed you.